what is so remarkable about the Mevo Start? I'm going to give you a hint. It's not the hardware. You'll have to excuse the noise today. I've got the printer printing more Mevo accessories. I have the filament dryer drying more filament to go into the printer. It's one of those days where I need to make this video, but I've got a lot going on inside my little room here. So for the Mevo Start to be a device that has garnered so much praise, so many users across the world in so many different fields, what is so special about its ability to have such success? And if it's not the hardware, then what is it? Now, the Mevo Start was introduced in 2020, which means it was in development in 2019 and maybe before. So the hardware inside the Mevo Start is not going to be the newest hardware on the market today, obviously. But what we do know is that the specs for this particular device include that it will stream at 1080 30 frames per second, which is the highest resolution you can still stream at on any major platform. So it fits the bill there. It has a Sony sensor built in. Now the specs on that sensor don't mean anything to me because I'm not a camera nut, but I just know that they didn't skimp out on the sensor they put inside this unit. And it does include a six hour battery life when you're live streaming. That's the published battery life that they put in their marketing materials. But as soon as I got one, I set mine up to stream. It streamed for six hours, one second before it shut off. That is the actual real world battery life that we can expect to get out of a Mevo Start when it's live streaming. Now that doesn't take into account extreme heat or extreme cold. It was room temperature, but they're not lying to us when they say these things can make it six hours of streaming just on battery power. The things that round out this little device to make it so remarkable are going to have to include the software. Now, the hardware does allow a lot of flexibility because it does have some features that will allow it to be used in many different platforms. It can be used in OBS. It can be used in Skype or Zoom. It can be used in anything that will pick it up via NDI. There's some incredible features that they thought ahead on when they when they uh, configured its hardware so it would it would run a lot of different ways and it would it would be able to connect to a lot of different platforms but the software is really where this thing is going to shine and so you have the mevo app where you have full features of control of this camera you have the ability to crop and zoom you have the ability to have presets that allow you to at the tap of a screen focus in on different areas of the screen, up to nine different presets. You have all kinds of image adjustments that are available to you to control uh, what, the, what the end result looks like based on the lighting you have in the room. All of the sound control is built into this app. The ability to use it as a webcam, wired or wireless. The ability to turn on NDI so it can be used in other platforms all controlled in the Mevo app. You also have the Multicam app, which is going to allow you to bring several different Mevos into the same stream and switch between cameras for your live feed. You still have the ability to crop and zoom in that. It's not on the front like it is on the original app, but it still exists. Software though is where this camera begins to shine. When we consider its ability to use NDI, it's going to become available over the network, which means ProPresenter 7 or OBS or Top Director or any of those that will pick up based on it being NDI are apps or software that can use this particular camera. It's open to the ability to stream all kinds of different venues. And whether we're talking about in an interview setting, in a panel discussion, sports streaming, church streaming, and the fact that it runs NDI is going to open the door even wider for a wide range of, of applications for the Mevo Start. And then they built in a webcam mode. So that if you want to connect it on your network, use wireless webcam mode. Or if you want to connect it via USB to your computer, all of a sudden you have all the features that are built into the Mevo app at your disposal as a webcam. So the, the ability to adjust the settings, the ability to adjust the sound, to 
change your crop or zoom level so you can change what the people are seeing on the other end, all of that, and it's functioning as a webcam. As a matter of fact, they have a built-in feature in the Multicam app that will allow the entire app to be ported out and read as a webcam so that you can have multiple camera shots as your webcam, so to speak. And then the final benefit to what the Mevo Start is designed to do hardware and software wise is the USB-C port is not just a charging port. It's also an audio port. So you can adapt any kind of microphone to that port, but you also, because it sends a 1080p signal out of it to be used as a webcam, you can convert that UVC signal into HDMI if you're willing to buy the adapter. And so you can plug your Mevo Start into anything that will take an HDMI input all of a sudden because of the ability to convert that signal that comes out of the USB-C port. So with software and hardware developed by the same team in the same house, so to speak, you do have this ecosystem that begins to form around this one little camera. But one of the most unique features about this camera and where it begins to transcend just being a camera is in the community it has generated. The help available on the Mevo customer group on Facebook is extensive. They are a welcoming community that wants to see anyone who uses this little device to have success. Success. Mevo's own customer support is also excellent, but to know there are other real world, regular people who are using this and are willing to take their experience and help you with yours, knowing that they are trying and succeeding in doing exactly what you're hoping to do, makes me believe that I can do it too. So what makes this camera so special, so remarkable, is all the above. Even though the hardware is getting to be long in the tooth, they thought ahead. They just about future-proofed this little device. I'm trusting that they're working on the next version of what we're going to get out of this, and I'm trusting it's going to have some, some advancements that are leaps and bounds ahead of where this one is. But until we get there, we still have a device that is incredibly useful for my baseball stream, softball, football stream, which is much farther away than baseball, by the way, for my church stream, all these different applications that I'm trying to use it for, you may be trying to use it for, it excels in those because it's inexpensive, it's lightweight, it has a long battery life if I can't run, back, if I can't run power to it. These pieces, plus the software that's built in, it, that it's built on, all make this a package that I can use for a long time and have great success in my live streams.